Hello, Geminis. So, thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, I everything will be in the comment section. Today only, okay? I am doing a $25 special on my readings. Please catch me if you can. All right. So, Geminis, what the fuck is going on? What is going on, Spirit? Please give me clear messages for Gemini. Let me know what is going on with Gemini. Let me spray some prosperity spray. Because y'all know I'm a Gemini, too. I be needing to know the shit's my Okay. So, here we go. Spirit, please make it clear. All right. Two of Wands. So, you're going to have a decision to make, Gemini. Um... There may be a message or something that comes in from somebody who you've been cold and detached from. Somebody you've been thinking about but not saying anything to. Somebody that you felt like it was an ending with. But you're still thinking about. Could be a cancer or this is somebody that you moved on from. Hmm. This person may want to uh, start a relationship or they may want some type of commitment from you. But you you may still hold back from this person. Why? Ooh, the will in reverse. You don't feel like this is going anywhere. You don't feel like, you know, things are going to move forward. But the truth is, it may. Okay? You're still passionate about this person. You still have a lot of love for this person. I would say maybe you should. Let's see how they feel. The tower card. Hmm. The star card. I done got too many cards, y'all. <laughs> okay, so we have a star card and one more card for how they feel. Aw, the Queen of Cups. Okay, so y'all y'all love each other. Well, y'all have very strong feelings for each other, but I feel like, Gemini, you feel like it's over and you don't want to, you feel like it's no point in reliving this situation, but this person is like, what the fuck do you mean? I love you, okay? This person is like, you know... I, I know I wasn't perfect with this Knight of Wands, but I genuinely fucking love you. And you still have a lot of passion for them. You still love them, too. You still want to go towards them. But I'm feeling a sense of I need to pull back my energy because this motherfucker be doing some bullshit. Yeah, they do too much. This is a player energy, and you're tired, okay? So let's see how this person feels about my Gemini's. How does this person feel about Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? Tell me more and what their actions are. How does this person feel and what are their actions? So this person feels like the relationship is toxic, but they're obsessed with you, Gemini. <laughs> they are so obsessed about this connection. I don't know who this is or why. They want to come towards you really, really bad. So even if this person is not speaking to you and you know exactly who this person is, they're still very passionate about you page of wands like this person is very immature but they know what they want when it comes to you okay yeah this person definitely is going to come towards you i have two movement cards they have to they can't sit still but with that being said they want to know whether or not you're going to be taking them back if you want to let's see if you are yeah <laughs> But you're worried that it's still going to be unbalanced or like it was before. You don't want that anymore. Let's see what this person's true intentions are. The Justice, the Hermit, and the Four of Wands. They want this, Gemini's. If you decide to go back with this person or be back in this person's life, I do feel like things will take a turnaround. With the Emperor, it could be Aries. This person is definitely going to step up more. They're going to want to be in your energy more. Give them a chance, okay? Okay, so let's get more. Let's get the outcome. Spirit, please give me an outcome for Gemini. Outcome for Gemini's, please. Outcome for my Gemini's. The magician. Okay, so manifesting something that's going to come because you've manifested it. Remember that. 
the four of cups okay so there's a sense of rejection coming up why six of cups because maybe you're thinking about this person and they're not coming so you're like damn this person really doesn't want me it's not that okay let's see what's taking this person so long why is there, why is the four of cups here four of cups and the six of cups what's going on because that's the ten of cups if they just come in but what is taking this person so long the lovers they have a decision to make maybe there is somebody else that they're talking to right now let's see the Ace of Swords, they're, they're kind of confused about what to do, okay? I feel like there is somebody else that they were talking to, but they want to move on from that. <laughs> I see them wanting to actually come towards you. But again, you guys are going through something or have went through something too, so they don't even know if it's safe there either. So let's get um, the advice. Spirit, what is the advice? The Six of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so here, follow your intuition with this person, okay? I feel like this person definitely is going to come back and show you some type of love. It's up to you to decide what you want to do with this person. With the Three of Swords, yes, this person hurt you, but it's time to get over that. Especially if you plan on having this Nine of Cups with anybody, not just this person, but anybody. You're going to have to move on from this past hurt, okay? Let that hurt go, sis. All right, let's get one card from the Rebel deck. It says you need some fucking yoga in your life. Ain't your shit is cool. All right, work out, you guys, and get spare time. Let some of that steam off. Have a good one. Bye.